Now let's go ahead and chat a little bit about creating ISO drawings from PCF files. So it's important to know that when you generate an isometric drawing from the model, a piping component file is automatically created. We call those PCFs for short. Now, whether or not you're generating an isometric drawing, you can always export a PCF. And then you have the ability to import that PCF in to create an isometric drawing. You can also import a PCF file that's created from another program. And a lot of people use those extensively. But let's take a look at this first. We're going to go ahead and we're going to export this piece of piping out to a PCF file rather than create an isometric drawing with it now. And whenever you do that, you'll get this dialog box. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select both line numbers for these pipings that are going to go here. And then I'm going to change the location of the PCF file because I have a special little folder that I want to drop these PCF files in. Okay, so now I've identified my location. I've identified the numbers of the lines that I want to make PCF files with, and I'm going to go ahead and create those. So as those files are creating, I will be able to import those later to be able to br be brought into drawing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch files here just for a second. And I just want you to see that I do have a blank file, so there's nothing existing here. And what I want to do is I want to make a PCF from an, uh, I want to bring it to an ISO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some PCF files here. I'm going to go into my desktop file. And I'm going to say, let's create an ISO from this PCF file here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to keep all these the same. If there is one existing, I'll go ahead and override it. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and create from here. And now, as usual, your isometric is going to be processing in the background. And when it is ready, we will get a message in the lower right-hand corner letting us know that our ISO is done. One thing to remember that the isometrics are being created in the background. You're more than free to continue working as the isometrics are being created. Uh, and a caveat here is that uh, it does take a little bit of time sometimes depending on the size of your isometrics or how many isometrics or lines that you're creating. And uh, this video was edited for time just a little bit so that you're not staring at a blank screen watching ISOs created. But if you look in the right hand corner, in the lower right hand corner, you'll see that all isometrics are created successfully here. And we can go ahead and click on this to get the isometric details. And you'll see all of these isometrics that were created. If you want to see the folder in your Windows Explorer, you go ahead, we'll click on this, and you can see that from only a PCF drawing without opening up any files. Remember, this is the file that we did it from. There are no pipings or anything in there. We did go ahead and we created isometric drawings with bill of materials and everything only from the PCF file. Let's go ahead and import a PCF file into a 3D model. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the Home tab and you're going to see a tool that says PCF to pipe. So we'll go into here and we'll choose the uh, PCF to pipe tool. There it is right there. Of course, your command is plant PCF to pipe if you choose to go into your command line. Then you're prompted to add the line that you wish to bring into the model. I have a folder on my desktop which contains some PCF files that I had exported. I'm going to go ahead and choose this line number here. Then you're going to see that I need to make a spec substitution. Now I can remove this because there's not a spec available or I can go ahead and make a substitution. So what happens here is I can choose from what I have here, but I'm going to go ahead and just choose this C150. Even though this was created with the 300, I'll choose the carbon steel 150 to go ahead and do the substitution on the project. And then I'll say create piping. And then as I do that, you'll see the piping will be created in place. And the only difference is that it's going to be created with the carbon steel 150 in lieu of the 300. Now let's go ahead and try this with a different file. And the main difference here is that we do have a Carbon Steel 300 spec included in this file here. You can also see it listed in this pipe specs in the project manager. We'll go ahead and do the same PCF uh, to pipe uh, commands. We'll change this uh, 
we'll choose the same line that we did before. And as we open it up, we'll see that the status is OK. And in the settings, we have matches for all the specs, so we don't have to do any substitutions. We'll go ahead and create the piping. And as you see, the piping is created. We'll go ahead and close the dialog box. And you'll see everything is in place. And we took a PCF line, brought it into an existing 3D model, and automatically created our pipe.